let's dive into some common fixes if you think your Tickfinity is broken. And let's just start on the actual TikTok website, tiktok.com, by making sure you're logged into the correct account. So just click on profile on the left hand side. And at the top here, just make sure this is the correct account you've got logged in on the TikTok website. We'll explain why briefly in a second, but firstly, if you're on the Tickfinity website, then this is really only recommended for Mac users and not Windows users. If you're a Windows user, the Tickfinity desktop app has far more features and is more stable. So I'll link the desktop app in the description. Just close the website and download the app. So let's start by checking Tickfinity's setup page. So click setup on the left and click on your account to start with. Sometimes people have two email addresses and you might be logged into the wrong one. So just double check you're on the correct Tickfinity account to begin with. And now let's scroll back up to the top of the page and let's double check our username. So this is why I told you to click on your profile to begin with. So your username is at the top here. Mine here is WG underscore Mojo. You can also copy it here. It is not this one, which is WG space Mojo for me. So make sure you copy the correct thing. You need your username. You don't need the at symbol, although Tickfinity can handle that if you accidentally put it. And here's one of the most common errors. People think they need to click the connect to TikTok live button before they go live. You do not need to be live to set up Tickfinity. You do not need to click the connect to TikTok live button until after you've gone live. So once again, this is not an error. You can set up Tickfinity without going live. Very occasionally, once you are live, you may have to press the button twice. But from my experience, you'll be automatically connected to Tickfinity a few seconds after you've gone live. Now, before we get to our next fix, here is a tool that I use to convert my streams into short clips. So this is my Riverside Studio and it's linked in the description and on the screen with a discount. And let me just click into a recent stream that I uploaded and I'll show how I can easily create a short form clip to post on TikTok or YouTube, which uses their new zoom and crop tool. So after I've uploaded it, I'll just hit edit and create a new edit. And we're here in the editor with the handy text based editing. And I'm just actually going to hit control F and search for a moment where I was talking about the sidemen. And I'm just going to turn this into a short clip. So what I'm just going to do is highlight the text that I want to turn into a clip. I'll click the three dots and I'll press keep only this or you could create a new edit. And I'm just going to turn it vertical now but I want this focused on my webcam. So I'm just gonna press the crop button and drag it over to where my webcam is and zoom it in a little bit and just a little bit more. So now it's just my webcam. And I'm also personally gonna use that handy little captions tool as well, which lets me place captions wherever I want. And now all I have left to do is export it and post it onto my social media pages. So Riverside is so simple to use and thank you to Riverside for sponsoring this video. Once again, there's a discount in the description and on the screen. Next up on the setup page, just click on TikTok login and click on log out from TikTok and then click login to TikTok to double check that you're on the correct account. That is especially important if you're gonna use the chat bot, which we'll briefly mention later. All right, next up, let's troubleshoot issues with your sound alerts page. So let's start by just clicking into the page and I'm just gonna quickly set up an example sound alert and we'll use a random gift and we'll just use a random sound. Firstly, keep in mind, you can use this volume slider to change the sound levels of your sound alerts. And for this, the key point is that your viewers need to hear your desktop audio to be able to hear the sound alerts. The sound alerts are playing from the Tickfinity desktop app or from your web browser if you're using the website. Let's look at Live Studio and OBS to make sure that the sound alerts are picked up properly. So we want the volume mixer at the bottom and it's underneath these audio settings here. Click onto the settings and for the vast majority of people, it should be your headset that is added from this list. And in a second, I'm going to show you how you can test this, but make sure you just click save. But let's quickly look at OBS as well. So for most people, their audio settings will be on settings and audio. And underneath desktop audio, you would add your headset and press OK. As you can see for me, I've got a slightly more advanced setup where I've got a nested scene with my audio, but same thing, I've just got my headset added. Now I've just typed volume mixer into Windows and likewise here, I'm just gonna check that output is matching my headset. So for me, it would be my cloud to wireless. And as long as the volume mixer and your live studio or OBS or Streamlabs settings are matching, 
So for me, it would be the Cloud2 wireless added to both Live Studio and the volume mixer. When you press this test button here on the Sound Alerts page, you should be able to hear it. And once you're live, the viewers will be able to hear it. So let's again briefly cover just changing volume levels on Tigfinity. Again, on the Sound Alerts page, the slider is here. It's a bit more confusing if you're trying to change volume levels on the actions and events page. What you have to do is edit the action that has sound. So for example, here, my new subscriber alert has sound. So I just scroll down here and it's the media sound volume slider here that I would change to change the volume levels. And of course, I would press save. So that's how you change volume levels of an action and event. And the only other thing really that has volume is text to speech. So click on TTS chat and just change the slider on the text to speech chat page. Now let's just troubleshoot the actions and events page in general. Firstly, don't forget here, you can see underneath actions, it says screen and the screen number is very important. You need to add every screen to TikTok Live Studio, OBS or Streamlabs. Typically, you can just leave everything on screen one. Unless you wanna separate out the alerts, for example, put a follow alert and a subscribe alert on different parts of the screen. But most people just have all of their alerts queued into one place. So for example, if I wanna queue everything into one place, I would put my like alert back onto screen one. And then just check what screens you have and scroll down and click on the links to add them to the relevant software, either Live Studio, OBS or Streamlabs. So inside Live Studio, you would once again click add source, click on link, control V to paste it into the box. You can set a custom resolution if you want, make sure the sound is turned on, especially if you have sounds playing and click on add source. Make sure you rename it. I'm renaming it to Tickfinity Screen 1 because that's what it is. I have to rename it on the landscape canvas as well, Tickfinity Screen 1. And of course, you can then click on it to place it where you want. You can drag the corners to resize it. And of course, it is a blank box and that is completely normal. There's nothing showing. So let's lock them into place. And if you want to see something, just simulate one of your alerts. So there you go. I've simulated a follow alert, which is kind of showing me that I should probably make it bigger. So I'll just unlock them and I'll go ahead and simulate the follow alert again. And I can see that I probably just need to resize them a little bit. Just some other things to remember on the actions page. Don't forget you can edit any of the actions. If you want to change their appearance, often the global overlay settings have a ton of different settings where you can just change the way it looks. And finally, with the actions and events, one of the most common problems is with people sending multiple of the same gift. So let's say, for example, 10 roses. Some of us, we only want the alert to appear once. For example, it might say on the screen, Harry sent 10 roses, but other people want the alert to happen 10 times. For example, as a funny one, 10 fart sounds. So you would just edit the relevant action. So for me, that is new gift and scroll down and it is this one, repeat with gift combos. So in our example, if I want one alert for 10 roses, I would leave this unchecked like I've got. In the second example, if I want to play, for example, 10 fart sounds for 10 roses, I would check the repeat with gift combos box and press save. And once again, of course, you would make sure the relevant screen is added to Live Studio, OBS or Streamlabs. I did realize I didn't really show how to add that to OBS. So in OBS, you just press the plus button, choose browser, give it a name, for example, Tickfinity screen one, and then replace this link with the screen link, shut down source when not visible and press okay. And if you're using vertical, press the plus button, choose browser, either click new or add it if it's already added. And as with Live Studio, just reposition it and resize it as you wish. Again, it's blank. And again, you can test everything using the simulate buttons on the Tickfinity page, or you can test using the play icons. Let's click onto the chatbot page and troubleshoot issues with the Tickfinity chatbot. And firstly, of course, make sure you've activated it if you want to use it. So I'll go ahead and activate the chatbot. And if you didn't see earlier, let's click on the setup page, click on TikTok login. And the account that is logged in here is the account that will be typing into your chat. So I suggest you use the account that you are streaming from. So if you think you've got the wrong one added, once again, click log out from TikTok, click log in, and that will guarantee you've got the correct account for the chatbot added. Now, as it's suggesting here and in this message here, TikTok does unfortunately rate limit the chatbot, so it can't type a ton of messages. So I think the two messages per 15 seconds is fine, but you can play around with that setting if you want. And you can click into this troubleshooting guide and you can read through this troubleshooting guide. There's no point me going over something that is already written. And of course, for the power users who are using streamer.bot, make sure you check this option if you're using streamer.bot to send messages. Let's look at another plugin, which is the song requests. So I'll click onto the song request page. 
Firstly, of course, make sure you've signed in to the Spotify Pro account that you have. And that's important, it has to be Spotify Premium. Now, when I did it, I actually just had to press the button twice to connect. So after clicking sign in once, if it doesn't work, try it again, and you'll have a message in the top which says you are connected. And of course, as it says, start Spotify and play a playlist to get things going. So you can see I'm doing that very quietly and mine says it's now connected. Now, if you're having trouble, let's go on spotify.com and we're gonna click on account and we're gonna scroll down and manage our apps. What you wanna do is find Tickfinity, we've found it here, and just click remove access and then close and reopen Tickfinity and you should have a sign in button reappear. You'll also probably have to click the logout button on this page as well. That will just reset the connection process. I'll stick my longer Spotify Tickfinity guide in the description. Next up, sometimes people wanna reset things and they get a bit confused. So for example, if you have a massive database with tons of people, tons of points in it, and you just wanna reset things, here's how to do it. You click onto the setup page, click on reset points, and you can either erase everything or erase it based on criteria and it'll calculate the number of people that it will delete. So this will delete people who've been inactive at least 60 days and have less than two points. Now, some people want to reset their goal overlays and the next time you go live, Tickfinity will automatically reset your goal overlays to zero, but some of them can be reset while you're live by just closing Tickfinity and reopening it. That is typically the custom goals because for other things such as likes, Tickfinity just pulls the current like count that you've got from your stream. Now you can see here, I've got myself a new subscriber alert. Just a quick mention on how the subscriber alerts work. If you're having issues with this, unfortunately, it's basically because TikTok does not send Tickfinity the correct data about subscribers. So for example, sometimes it will send Tickfinity the same data twice about a new sub. It also can't distinguish currently the difference between a gifted sub and a regular sub. And I believe it also can't distinguish the difference between different tiers of sub. Unfortunately, Tickfinity can't do anything about that. They basically don't get sent the correct data by TikTok. Finally, let's just talk about TikTok Live Studio and a few things you can try if you're having issues with it. Firstly, just make sure you unlock any source that you wanna change. And you can also right click and head into settings and just make sure the settings are okay. Most importantly, make sure sound is turned on. Don't forget that anything you're testing, you can simulate it on the actions and events page. And for most other things, there should be a test button to see if it's working properly. But if it's still not working, you can just try the old turn it off and on. You can try deleting and re-adding the link source. And of course, you can also try fully uninstalling and reinstalling TikTok Live Studio. Double check also that your graphics card drivers are up to date, but that's usually not the problem. But if you're still having issues with TikTok Live Studio and Tickfinity, what you can actually do is set up your stream, including Tickfinity, inside OBS, and then send it to Live Studio using the virtual camera. Or you can just get a stream key and not use Live Studio and only use OBS. I'll put both of those videos on the screen now.